Assalamualaikum dan salam hormat anda sudah menyaksikan bisnes awal ini bersama saya Syarqawi Salahuddin. Program Usahawan Sedunia Anjuran Ensen Yang di Monte Carlo menyaksikan himpunan usahawan terbaik dari 60 negara di serata dunia. Tahun ini Malaysia menerima penghormatan sekali lagi apabila dipilih sebagai salah seorang daripada 10 juri yang akan menentukan usahawan dunia terbaik. Dan kita ikuti temu bual Rizal Zukapli bersama pengurusi Battersea Project Holding Company yang juga usahawan EOY Malaysia 2012, Tan Sri Liu Kisien. Hai anda bersama saya Rizal Zulkafli dan kita bersama dengan Tan Sri Liu Kisin, pengurusi Battersea Project Holding Company dan juga pemenang EOY 2011 untuk Malaysia serta salah seorang daripada 10 juri di WEOY di Monte Carlo. Dan kita ingin dapat tahu tentang WEOY di Monte Carlo dan apakah harapan beliau dalam WEOY pada tahun ini. Tan Sri, hi, thank you for joining us today. Thank you Now, very much. I think first of all, we would like to know the um, what can we expect from WEOY 2014? Well, the, the judging committee will start meeting only in the first week of May by teleconferencing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will know by then what are the criteria or specific uh, team that we, we, they will use for this particular year. But like all competitions, uh, especially EY's uh, Entrepreneur of the World Award, every one of the 60 contestants are very, very good in their own way. They represent their each, each countries. They are the winner of each of their own countries. They are the best of the best, first among equals. So when they come to Monte Carlo, they're coming to showcase their entrepreneurship from their own country. I'm sure the, the contest will be very, very intense. Uh, the, to, to pick the winner will be very, very difficult. Uh, I'm sure it will be so, so interesting for me. And, and you've been to Monte Carlo uh, uh, for the WEOY a few times already, right? And, and I, I think what can we expect when entrepreneurs gather and discuss about business or maybe or giving back to society? What can we expect uh, this year, I think? I think the first thing among entrepreneurs is the mutual admiration of each other. When we see a fellow entrepreneur from a different country, you are all about what they do, you know. Mm -hmm. So you think that you're always great what you do in your country. We see somebody from that other country, wow, they do things that you are unheard of. Things that, but of course, is suited to their country which they come from, or whichever part of the world. And then from there, you gain you gain knowledge, insight into fellow human beings. Why why are we different? Or then why are we similar? You'd be surprised. We have a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. We may speak different different language, different culture. We may speak through an interpreter, but we are basically the same people inside the human being. Same human being inside. And would it be a good platform for entrepreneurs to also maybe um, look at new business um, opportunities uh, during WOI? I think it's not so much about looking for business new opportunities. Mm -hmm. It's there to, to share knowledge, to share knowledge what we do. How, what we are doing, does it impact the society, the community? Mm -hmm. How are we changing the world? And how can we do better to further our interests? See? Most of those who, who go to EY event are really multi-multi-billionaires. Money to them is no longer a big issue. It's more for us, okay, or this is a way of how you enhance society. This is a way how, how you enhance community. This is a way enhance you enhance, enhance the environment. That issue is more important than making money. That gathering is not about making money. That gathering is about caring, caring for the environment, caring for the people, caring for the globe. That's more important to us when we, we meet. Okay, and also, um, Ernst Senya will open its nomination for the 13 W uh, for the 13 EY Malaysia Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And what advice do you have for entrepreneurs out there looking uh, to make it big uh, in Malaysia or even the world? I think first thing for any entrepreneur, you must have, you must have a heart. You must have a heart that cares. Because if you just want to come as an entrepreneur to make money for yourself you will not last forever. You must have a heart, a heart that cares for your service, your product, the environment, the people who work for you, then only you'll be successful. If you just want to say, oh, I want to make money, 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 you either, you'll be successful maybe, but you won't last long. You will not last forever because you don't have that branding, the caring effect. People want that today, you know. Today we talk about social capital, social enterprise. So that is the key to going forward. Money is important, but no longer the only key factor today. 
Any advice to Dr. Ngau, who will be representing Malaysia for the WEOY in Monte Carlo? Well, I can't, I can't give you any advice because I'm, I'm a judge. Uh -huh. uh, there must not be any conflict of interest. La. Dr. Ngau is a great man. I think he deserves to win the, the award last year. I think he will do very, very well in Monte Carlo. I wish him all the best. Okay. Thank you very much, Tan Sri. Thank you. Tadi Tan Sri Liu Kisin, salah seorang daripada 10 uh, panel juri yang akan uh, menentukan siapakah yang akan memenangi WAY pada tahun 2014 ini. Saya Rizal Sokapli, teruskan bersama Astro Awani.